Hello everybody, I am Wooten as always, and today I want to welcome you to a game called Bastion. If you have not heard it, just look at it. It's a brilliant game, it's an action RPG with incredible narration and... I mean, just look at this piece of art here. It's beautiful, and we'll get to know a bit about the story which takes place in Calamity, and without further ado, Let's just get ahead and get into this story. We are going to play in normal mode. I'm not the best at these action RPG games, but I think I can handle it. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up. Ah, and we're in. Sets <laughs> off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Okay. Yeah, and you, you see him. Um, forms up under his feet as it yeah. point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. I don't think I even need to talk with this one. But the ground is Finds his lifelong us. friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls, years of work undone in an instant, in the calamity. It does look a bit choppy though. Uh, Let's quickly see if turning on V-Sync will help with that. Uh, well, let's confirm that. I guess it's just a bit choppy. I thought I remembered it a bit more fluid. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Okay, so with space you can evade, which I should probably Kid do. Pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Uh, am I hurt? I think destroying can, uh, destroying stuff can give you something. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. That's that. Uh, I think that's currency. Kid just rages for a while. <laughs> It's pretty cool, just smashing stuff. And there's a little island. Ah, we have a bit of money. Okay, let's move on though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Okay, and I can't move while reloading, but I guess I can. He does keep reloading. And down on the right you see how many arrows you can with this weapon. And we get to see a few different weapons. He's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Oh yeah, that refills your, your health bottles, basically. I did play this school bit. school squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Uh, and I watched someone play it, but I only played it like uh, half an hour or something like that. Because I did want to record this. Uh, what was it after you? Okay. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used the fancier. <laughs> okay, so I... Oh, I guess you can't hit them while they're small. Alright. Uh, let's heal up again, since this seems to be an endless fountain. Hmm. 
He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. I'm listening to the music. It's one thing I've failed to mention, I think. But the music is also very, very nice. It's actually one of those games that I initially bought for then the music. Then finds his trusty shield. Oh, there we are. Shift. But just okay. as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Oh, I think this was a timing thing, right? I think if I time it right, I could just deflect those bullets. Special delivery. Gas fellas. No. Oh, great. More stuff to fight. I don't think uh, rolling takes up any stamina or anything. Bags start turning up for last call. So it should probably just keep evading. Start coming out of the woodwork. Rodney always wanted his ashes scattered here. A big old fella pops out in front of the Oop. kid. Now that hit me. I think those red numbers are me hitting them. Must be. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. And I'll try to keep these parts at about 20 minutes if I can. He gets a good look at things on his way down. And I do he intend on, on top finishing of the breaker's this. bow, and it ain't broke. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Yeah, and if you flash, then it does additional damage. You just gotta hold it for long enough. a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Ah. And you can move with this weapon. This way to shift to lock onto targets. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. That's how that goes. Shift is also to block. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. Ah, yeah, right. And if you counter. Or if you, if you block quick enough, then you get this counter, which deflects directly at the target. What's this? Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Special attack. Uh, He's a mighty okay. fast learner. Oh, that's that other stuff. Right. Black tonic. But I think I missed something, so let me go back for that. Might be nothing, but I always want to check that stuff. Ah, yeah, an amulet, okay. 
The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. I think those are used to upgrade your stuff. And it doesn't really seem like you can fall off, but I've seen people fall off, so... If you try hard enough, I think you can do that. That's your thing. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, plus 10 max health. Fermented squirt extracted with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. Then we got the dread drum, which gives us more critical hit, but only at full health. Pungent concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves, favored by the breakers and other fighting forces. And the fetching fizz, which absorbs fragments. Okay, that's the currency. Started as a broom prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic aftertaste. Um, don't really know what I want to pick. Max health sounds very nice. So let's let's just go with that for now. Let's confirm it, and we'll go to the arsenal as well. The arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Okay, so we've got three weapons to choose from: the repeater, the bow, or the hammer. Uh, so do I want the repeater or the bow? That's basically the choice here. I do want a melee weapon. Mm, I think I'm gonna stick with the bow for now. <laughs> you hear the music in the background, very nice. So, what do we have skills-wise? Uh, dancing shot, which causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Uh, apparently only usable with the bow, which makes sense. Sounds really cool. Uh, usually I'm more of a melee guy, but let's try this. Okay, yeah. Let's smash some more stuff. And that's the bouncing arrow, which is pretty cool. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Okay, so let's destroy these so that no more enemies will spawn from them. I want to shoot that arrow again. I feel like that would be a waste though. I mean, we've got the tonic, we might. Oh, there's... I thought gathering that stuff would give you XP. What's down here? Uh, just a bit of that one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Yeah. So basically, um... When you do stuff like that, the narrator will comment on it. And just for that, I will do it. So. Okay. I will need to learn to avoid that kind of stuff. If I want to get through this, I think. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Not quite a power shot. And I think if you destroy these before, you not only get the bonus of 
Uh, obviously you're not getting hit by them, but I think you get an experience bonus. Destroy these boxes. I love the music in this game. What's something takes heavy. a chunk of alloy? Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Also used for more upgrading stuff. Scumbags. Okay. Yes. Kid, maybe a really good name for an enemy. Did. I don't want to stamp in that stuff. I don't really know if I have a choice. Okay. Uh, and there's a spawning thing up there. So let's get rid of that. And I think we have to destroy the boss first, actually. Rob's a scumbag of his last name. Kid puts him out of his misery. There you go. Oh, and we get a lot of fragments. Which I think will also be used for upgrading stuff. So you need this uh, material and fragments. I think there might be something down there. You can never really tell before you go there, because the ground just appears. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. Places is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Some assault like crazy. I oh, am yeah, there we see the tall. Okay. Thought I might be a bit too quick to see this. I don't know how much you have to evade in this game. But the start is pretty forgiving. Oh, these are charging, okay. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. And there we go, that is basically... the first part of the tutorial. Of this now game. the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Let's quickly discover Did anybody the else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There he is. Hello, stranger. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. Okay, let's talk to him about all this stuff. Let's ask about the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. And the crystal barrettes. Yeah, what happened to the girl? I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Ah, I get it. 
but we'll put in that power core next time. I want to thank you guys for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll definitely try to finish this game. Um, all the links to my social stuff are in the description down below if you want to get in contact. Um, Twitter is most of the time where I'll announce stuff if I can't make any videos or when videos will arrive. Uh, I'm also occasionally live streaming, so go ahead if you want to watch that stuff, take a look in the description. Other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching again, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.